Hey y'all, I want to talk about fornication, right? You see, God led me on this to talk about because somebody out there is dealing with fornication. It's dealing with the spirit of lust. It's dealing with being a Christian and sexual immorality. And I want you to know that you can be free. Couldn't see that it was not only deeper than the physical but this thing is spiritual. You see, I have had questions on this topic and I want to help somebody today. You see, some people are dealing with a spirit of lust, which is a strong desires of pleasures of this world, including sexual desires arising from the spirit. See, when I looked up the definition of lust, it says lust is often emptiness. Individuals lust in a vain attempt to fulfill a vacancy and emptiness in their lives you see only allowing demons and demonic spirits to enter into an empty home instead of the holy spirit but it's destroying you spiritually you see in ephesians 6 12 the, the bible said this battle is not a physical battle but it's spiritual you see we're giving the devil easy access to enter into empty rooms that's on the inside of us and allow his demons to come in and attack us so i'm going to break it down to you so you are able to understand it in three parts biblical physical and spiritual let's get it then first corinthians 6 19 the words say do you not know that your bodies are temples of the holy spirit who is in you whom you receive from god you are not your own so not only god is telling you that your body is his temple and not yours but he's also telling you that your body is sacred to honor your body so as you're giving somebody your body sometimes it's anybody then you're allowing different things to enter into your sacred place which is on the inside of you you say first corinthians 6 18 the words say flee from sexual immorality all other sins a person commits are outside the body but whoever sins sexually sins against his own body you see whatever you do with your body is up to you but when you decide to fornicate with your body then you're allowing the enemy to come in and do whatever that he pleased with your body you're allowing access to the devil you see when god say that it's against your own body that means as you decided to fornicate you decided to make that decision on yourself so therefore it's consequences that you will have to take and that's when the physical aspect come in now you got to be aware of diseases and sickness that the enemy is able to place in you because you allow him to by giving him free will and access to you by fornication open yourself up not only to stds and sickness if you're not using protection but you're also now opening yourself up to sexually transmitted demons so let's talk about it spiritually and that's why god speaks in his words you see it's deeper than what we see it's not just about the sex but it's also about what is left on the inside of you after the sex that will attack your spirit Ooh. you see you have now opened yourself up to different spirits and demons so not only you dealing with things that you got to go through but now you allow this person to enter into your sacred place and drop off day demons inside of you so you got to realize that this thing is spiritual so these demons will create a soul tie an ungodly soul tie within you for you being able to connect to that person on a deeper level other than physical when the whole time the devil was aiming for you to connect to them sexual in order to feed on your spirit you got to realize it's not a coincidence you start feeling different after you slept with somebody you not yourself after you done slept with somebody you used to be this nice little old thing but now you this angry old thing after you done slept with somebody because you connect yourself not only to this person but to their demons you got to realize that the enemy only wants to feed on your spirit so he will allow you to be attracted to this person on a sexual level even if you don't want to call this person even if you're not feeling this person it's something inside of you that just keep calling this person and it's not your body but it's your spirit